I hear that Zhugo Lian has become Prime Minister of Shu. Hmm. We have the Wei Emperor. A Shu Emperor and Prime Minister. There are too many titles out there. How I envy you, Liao. I can only wish that I had been allowed to be a strategist for Shu and aided in this endeavor. In honor of the occasion, there is something that I would like to say to everyone. In doing your work, I ask that you listen to others' opinions and learn to consider them fully, even if they differ from your own personal opinions. You each have pride in your own abilities. This can make listening difficult, I understand. To the best of my knowledge, the only one who could unfailingly do that was Shu Shu, my old friend, an example to us all. somehow return to that time? I would. No. I guess I would have made the same decision. That remains to be my weakness. I can never become Zhugo Liang. Master Shu Shu, the Emperor has summoned you. I understand. I shall be there in a moment. But please, Remind His Highness, I cannot offer any plans. As usual, I will only listen and give my opinion. Oh. The Shu forces suffered a massive defeat at Yiling, and Liu Bei has retreated to Beidi Castle. We should mobilize our army and attack them from five directions in order to ensure that Shu is finally annihilated. Five directions? That is a massive undertaking. Furthermore, in addition to our war against Shu, I propose we move the capital to Luoyang. It will be more efficient in terms of communications and supplies. Very well. I shall place you in charge of our efforts to defeat Xu and transfer the capital, Sima Yi. As you command, my lord. I want you to head for Xi Ting and await further orders. I can see the reason for attacking Shu and moving the capital. However, why does His Highness simply do what Master Sima Yi says? I have a feeling that soon, Wei will be completely under Master Sima Yi's control. It is our task to rebuild this land so that we may realize the grand ambition of our fallen leader, Master Liu Bei. Master Liu Bei went to battle for the sake of his sworn brothers, Master Guan Yu and Master Zhang Fei. But we must only do battle for the sake of bringing about a land of benevolence. It is my opinion that we should refrain from waging war with Wu from now on. 
You wish to repair relations with the people of U? So we are to return to your philosophy of the division of the Land in Three? Yes. Wei is the enemy of both Shu and U. But it will be difficult to return to the tripartite division of before. Jin province has fallen to the hands of Wei and U. We are in a much more disadvantageous position than we were previously. Since we had less land than the other kingdoms, Jing province was always our trump card. Now that we've lost that, how are we to stand against the other two? That much is clear. We need strength. To make up for the loss of Jin province, we need to acquire more strength at once. For that reason, I propose a northern campaign to seize some of the territory of Wei. Very well. We shall do as Zhuge Liang suggests. But I want you to make me one promise. I want you to promise you'll never forget my father's dream of a land of benevolence and virtue. You must strive to build a land where all can live in peace. I will. We must begin our assault on Shu. Sima Yi, I want a status report and details of your strategy. Yes, my lord. Since Liu Bei's death, Shu has been guided by Zhuge Liang. But we have received word that he has fallen ill. Additionally, there is little public support for Liu Bei's heir, Liu Shen, leading to discontent amongst the people. So, basically, Shu is facing serious internal problems right now. If we attack them from five different directions, we can annihilate them for good. The first army shall be our main unit, led by our lord. He will be followed by armies from Meng Huo of Nanjong, the Qiang, and the Meng Da of the Xiangyang. The fifth and final army will belong to Wu. Master Sima Yi, will Sun Quan really assist us in this battle? Will he not fear that the elimination of Shu would mean that Wu is next? I imagine he will, Wu Huai. That makes our elimination of Shu the perfect opportunity to ascertain Wu's thinking as well. We can learn much from how he responds to our request. I am curious to see which way he leads. Oh, I see. You think of everything, Master Sima Yi. Then I must go and make my preparations for the battle. If we can rid ourselves of Shu, I imagine Sima Yi will become even more powerful than before. I have a feeling our position here could be in danger. Is there anything we can do about it? It's simple. We'll just pretend we are ill and cannot send out our soldiers. Somebody needs to teach him that he can't always get what he wants. Lord Liu Chun, Wei has made its move. Scouts indicate that their forces are attacking Shu on five separate fronts. I see. Ordinarily, I would like to leave this in Zhuge Liang's hands, but unfortunately he is somewhat unwell. So, we will have to respond as best we can. The enemy has prepared a complex and meticulous plan. Without Master Jugo Leon, I fear... There is no need for concern. Jugo Leon has prepared a plan of his own and given me the details. If we follow it, I'm sure we will be fine. I should have known Master Jugo Leon would anticipate every eventuality. Understood, my lord. I will inform everyone else. Thank you. 
This will be my first battle, so I will need to leave such complex matters to those of you with more experience. So you're Liu Bei's son. I did not expect to see the Emperor of Wei come all this way himself. It must have been most inconvenient for you. Shuga Liang has something he would like to say to you. I hope you will grant him an audience. What? Did you say Zhuge Liang? I thought he was supposed to be sick. We will never surrender to Wei. If you desire to face us in battle, we will be more than ready. But when you do, I advise you to keep an eye out behind you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will see you on the battlefield. From the rear? Could Zhuge Liang have made a deal with Wu? All of our units are currently engaged with the Shu forces. We would be unable to defend against a Wu attack from behind. Oh, this is also due to my late arrival at Chengdu. There is no excuse for my failure, my lord. This is not your fault, Sima Yi. If everybody had properly carried out your orders, Shu would be nothing more than a distant memory. Besides, the Shu are not the only ones feeling pain right now. You and I both have our own issues to deal with. Yes, my lord. No matter. Although we did not manage to eliminate Shu, at least we now know Wu's true intentions. All units, prepare to march. We must return to the capital at once. Lord Liu Chan, we have received reports that the entire Wei army has retreated. Very good. This is all thanks to the unity everyone displayed on the battlefield. This was a battle that we simply had to win. It was vital that we showed everyone both within the kingdom and without that Shu is still a force to be reckoned with, even after the passing of Master Liu Bei. And, just as I had hoped, we came together in our hour of greatest need and repelled attacks on our kingdom on five fronts. We have proven the might of Shu. Neither Wei nor Wu will dare to attack us for the foreseeable future. Yes, I am a fortunate man indeed, to be supported by such capable vessels. I hope you will all continue to strive to create a land of virtue and benevolence. just too strong. He's been that strong since I was just a small child. My lord, Liu Chan, it is your turn now. Oh. 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 And that side of him hasn't changed either. We must train if we are to fulfill our lord's desires. Now, let us begin. Thanks to you, we have managed to repel Wei's invasion of our territory. What do you propose we do next? We have shown that we have the strength to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against Wei. Even without Master Liu Bei, Master Guan Yu, or Master Zhang Fei. Now, we must work to repair our damaged relations with Wu. I see. 
I fear that will not be a simple task. We fought against U very recently. Do you really think they will listen to what we have to say? They must, or our grand design for the land will never come true. I will head to U myself. If I can meet with their people face to face, I am sure that I can get them to see reason. Very well. I will leave this matter in your capable hands. Come to think of it, I feel like I... I'm leaving everything to you. That is my duty. The duty that was entrusted to me by your father. To realize a land of virtue and benevolence, I will do anything and everything necessary. <laughs>